What's up, sisters and brothers? Happy Friday. I hope it's been a great week. It's certainly been an interesting week with news coming out about Elon Musk getting sued by the SEC over stock manipulation. Or I think uh, fraud is what he's being sued for. Should be extremely interesting to learn more about that. Uh, not even been in the news at all, though. The news cycle's been dominated by Brett Kavanaugh's uh, Supreme Court nomination. And I'm sure that, that will continue on next week. Um, strange times that, that, that we live in, most certainly. Uh, it's been a great week on the Money Savage podcast. On Monday, we had Harris Nydick and Greg Mikowski coming on to talk about uh, their approach to financial planning, which is a self-described common sense approach. And I really do believe that way too much of the financial industry is overly and probably purposefully complex, way too much complexity, when in fact, the answer to a lot of our uh, our financial savings questions or investing questions, uh, the simplest answer is probably the correct one. So those guys have a new book out, check out the podcast. On Tuesday, we had David Lau talking about commission-free life insurance and annuity products. And the reality is that no load mutual funds have been around since the 1970s. So it's probably way past due that, uh, that you could buy an insurance product without any kind of a commission or a load on it. So that was an interesting conversation for sure. On Wednesday, we had Wade Fow on. He is a professor at the American College of Financial Services talking about uh, the retirement income phase of life and specifically coming up with a retirement spending plan. So, so much is talked about how much income we need to have when we retire, but how much money can I spend? That's a really important question, and it was a great take and an interesting conversation. Thursday, we had Michael Dinich on, talking about how to reduce health insurance premiums, and this is applicable for folks who are entrepreneurs. And then today, released uh, the episode with Mr. Rob Church, who is the executive director of the Domain Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization bringing financial literacy to schools. So teaching in the classroom, which I know that I've certainly talked about in the past, uh, the idea that this is stuff we didn't learn in high school. So his group is working to change that. Another piece of news that I found to be extremely interesting, um, or at least it made me think of something interesting, was uh, how Weight Watchers is rebranding itself. And they're trying to move away from being viewed as simply a diet uh, company program to more of a wellness, an overall wellness program. And what I found to be interesting, uh, fundamentally, I work every day to be the best possible version of myself. And I work every day to help those that I have contact with, um, my clients, my friends, people in my community, to be the best possible versions of themselves as well, or help them to be whatever version of themselves that they want to be, help create positive behaviors, get rid of bad habits, create new good habits. And that's really what Weight Watchers is designed to do and, and does. And it's all built on, or at least uh, the reason that they're able to do it is because of the community aspect of it. Not unlike Alcoholics Anonymous, not unlike uh, the phenomenon of CrossFit, what it's doing is, or what the community does, is it helps uh, with positive reinforcement. Um, it can also help people call you out on your stuff when you're slacking a little bit or you are um, BSing. The community can help you with that as well. So I think that community plays such an important function in our lives. And lack of community is responsible for, I think, a lot of the bad things in our society. So. Um, if you've not checked out the Money Alignment Academy private Facebook group on Facebook, do so. We'd love to have you in there. Um, so check that out, find it. And the idea behind that as it grows, as it continues to grow and get better, uh, is that it's a positive community to help you get to where you want to be. So. Again, I bring this information to you because I know that you can do this. I know that you are perfectly capable, 100% capable of getting to where you want to be. So you can do this. We need you to do this because we're all in this together. Talk soon.